my channel here Welcome to all the folks who tuned in live. I want to welcome you to the Video Confidence Accelerator. I think I changed the name of the group unofficially, but it's all good because you're here to learn about live streaming, which I'm going to get into in just a second. I put together an awesome presentation to, for you. I was just actually working on it just a few moments ago. So I have a few cameras set up. I'm in my home studio space. I'm actually streaming live on Facebook right now. I'm going to share more about what I'm using and I'm going to share all the details about what I'm using and also how you can share a message with confidence when you're going live because live streaming is very nerve wracking. It can be very nerve wracking. I've had some close calls, I guess you want to say, some some <laughs> some challenges over the years going live. If you're watching this live, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Let me uh, refresh my phone too so I can make sure that I can see you or see your comments because I'm going to share my screen in just a second and when i do so i might not be able to see okay so we got a few folks watching now cool cool so go ahead and put hey in the comments i'll monitor the comments on my phone as we move <clears throat> as we move forward here i have my water just in case my throat gets sore and it's all good i'm going to share what camera i'm using i actually have a few cameras set up here so that's my i have a webcam there and i'm going to share what camera i'm using right now i have a that's my built-in webcam and that's a, another camera that's set up so I uh, got an awesome little setup here so if you're ready for me to get going I will go ahead and hop in the slides I imagine some people will be hopping on as we move forward but it's all good so let me uh, do this really quickly alright so this is a let me uh, bring this screen up full screen there we go. All right, so this is a special a special presentation that I put together for you. This actually comes basically from my video confidence school. I have a, a module that focuses all on live streaming. And so, um, like I said, I wanna share this information with you because live streaming is so important these days when it comes to your social media presence, when it comes to branding, building relationships, building that no like and trust. I believe that big video is the fastest way to do so. And so, you know, live streaming falls in that category. So in the first week of the program, I cover confidence and mindset issues um, or challenges. I share my video confidence formula. The second week I go over production gear, set up your home studio setup, etc. The third module covers storytelling. The fourth module covers live, all things live. The fifth module gets into basic editing. And then the sixth module gets into long-term success strategies. And there's some awesome bonuses as well. So that's just where I develop this content from. And so if you have any questions for me, um, I will answer all your questions at the end of this presentation. And I wanna start off with a question, all right? Cause I want this to be engaging. So for those of you who are watching this live, you can put this on the replay too if you're watching this on the replay. I want to know what your biggest live video fear is. Your biggest fear going live on video. What is your biggest fear? And those are some of the challenges that I often hear from people. It's quiet. All right, so some people are afraid, and this is something that I've done many, many times. Fear of saying something stupid, all right? Fear of not being able to do it in one take because you gotta do it in one take when you're going live because there's no do-overs, there's no do-overs. What's up, Teresa, how you doing? I see you watching the live stream. What's up, Troy, I see Troy, I see Donnie. Linear, a tuggle. Um, what's up, folks? All right, so um, are you worried that you have to be perfect? Or maybe you don't like your voice or something about your looks, or perhaps the tech is just all confusing. All right, so those are some, some basic challenges that I hear from folks who um, are challenged with going live or they say they're afraid to go live because of some of those reasons. And really, I would say that saying or, or saying or doing something stupid could be very tops on the list because there have been times where I've been going live and I've forgotten what I was going to say or my son will come busting in the, my home office while I'm going live. And that's the thing about live. It's so unpredictable. People like watching because of the unpredictability of it. They know anything can happen. That's one thing that attract can attract people to watching live, but it's also something that could be very scary about going live. All right, so my big goal for you is I want you to learn simple strategies and presentation techniques to be able to create live videos without fear so you can serve more, share more, and sell more with video. 
that's my big goal for this presentation. I hope that coming out of this, you'll be able to start making videos or go live, etc. All right. And for those of you who are just learning about me for the first time, my name is Amani Channel. I know I have some longtime members in the group. It's all good. Thanks so much for watching. Um, there's a little bit about me right now. So I'm a video geek. I'm a baseball dad. That's my son Devin on that one photo on the left. Um, I'm a award-winning producer, I'm a broadcaster, and I'm a professor. So I currently work at a TV station in Atlanta where I live. I've worked in the media for 20 plus years, if you include like college, probably a little bit longer than that. Um, but I've worked in radio, television, uh, P broadcast, PR, all the above. I've met several of you just through my media travels. What's up, May? How you doing? Good to see you on the live stream. So this is just some quotes from some folks who know me. Charles Elwards, I worked with him in public broadcasting of Atlanta. He says, for anyone watching, pay attention. Amani knows what he's talking about when it comes to video and video production. And Keith Carwell is a local freelancer. I think Troy Patton, I think Troy knows Keith. He can vouch for this. He says, uh, well, can vouch for Keith at least. He's, Keith said, when working with a guy like Amani Channel, you have to be at your absolute best just to be in the ballpark of his greatness. Now, this is kind of embarrassing, and I didn't ask him to write this. But he says, if you ever had the opportunity to work with him, you understand exactly what I'm talking about. Amani is a true professional. I just share that just to let you know if you're just learning about me that, um, you know, I walk my walk and I talk my talk. Like, I, I've been in this business for a while. I take pride in everything that I do, and I try to do everything at, a, at an excellent level, including uh, teaching people um, about my profession, about my, my profession and, and my passion, and video is also my hobby. And now this, all right. So these are some pictures uh, from my career over the years. Take a walk down memory lane with me. I'm just some, I've met some celebrities. I've I've had some successes. I've had some failures. Um, I've been doing this since you know my college years. So I've been doing this for a while. And um, you know I I've, I've just just get to rub elbows with different folks and, and do you have different experiences when you work in the media? It's just what I've done. It's just what I've chosen to do. But I do love I do love broadcasting. I love video production and all things related to it. So are you in the right place? Well, you're in the right place if you want to learn strategies to grow your business, brand, or influence with live video. You're in the right place if you're terrified to let your light shine on camera. And you're also in the right place if you're ready to infuse live video into your marketing in 2020. So this is my first, I'm really excited because this is my first uh, presentation of the new year. And, uh, you know, it's, it's good to share. I love sharing. I love teaching. So I'm, I'm so glad for those of you who are watching live. What's up, Earl? How you doing, brother? Good to see you. I guess I'll see you um, this weekend. All right. So before I get started, I want you to turn off all distractions. Just pay attention to this information because I do plan to bless you over the next uh, 30 minutes or so with this information. Now, my question is, do you feel like Miss Um when it comes to making live videos? So, you know, there she, there she is in front of her laptop. Maybe she's trying to go live. Maybe she's trying to edit a video. She's doing something video related. We'll just imagine that. But it can be very frustrating because, you know, if you're not sure about what to say, if you're not confident about your delivery, if you're not sure how to structure your videos, especially live, it can be challenging. And like I said, with live video, you have one take, you have one shot when it comes to going live. I mean, you really do have no do-overs. And so that in itself can be very nerve-wracking. And that's no no big deal if, if that's how you feel because I know exactly how you feel because I've had my share of challenges with live video and I got to make my mistakes on live television actually. So that's a, um image of me back in my television uh, reporting days when I worked at Fox 13 in Tampa, Florida, which is where I lived before I moved to Atlanta in 2006. But I got my start in broadcasting um, really as a reporter. Is is my early days I spent in front of the camera for about 10 years I spent reporting. And when I first started reporting, I was working in a big market. I was in Tampa, which is I think the 13th largest market. It might be even higher than that now. But Atlanta is the 10th largest market. I think the number one market is New York. Uh, LA is the second market. So Tampa's pretty high on the list. It's even bigger than Miami, if you can believe it or not. And this is my second job out of college. So. Um, you know, I was in a big market. I was green in the industry and I landed this reporter trainee position in Tampa and I would get so nervous and so anxious before every live shot and my mind would go blank. So, you know, it was just challenging for me and and it took me a while to me. I, I, I would repeat this like over the years and this is like I probably was a reporter for like 
probably two or three years when this screenshot was taken and the anchor tossed to me and I have the video of this also and as soon as he tossed to me my mind went blank he goes hey Imani what's going on there and I, I said hey Frank and my mind went blank and I snapped my head down to look at my notes and that happened over and over again and I would get nervous I would rush through my lines I would say um way too much I had numerous challenges going live so if you have if you experience anything similar to that um, why don't you put in your comments what your biggest challenge is with going live I'd love to know um, what you want to learn and what, what I can help you with because I can tell you that I've been there and done that whatever however you can fail on the camera I've done it probably multiple times probably probably more times than you have um, but it's no big deal right because we're all here to learn we're all here to benefit and um, learn how to become more confident when it comes to presenting your information so even though I started off with some failures, I had some successes as well. So that's a, a screenshot of a live shot I did from, for CNN. I never worked for CNN, but I ended up being a guest, doing some guests. Uh, I was a guest on one of their segments. Um, this is a few years ago, but you know, it just shows you that you know, there. Even though you might start off rocky, that you can have some successes, and it's it's really not a big deal, right? Going live is all about just sharing some information. It really doesn't have to be nerve wracking if you don't um, make it out to be in your own mind. Because I would say that speaking on camera is eighty percent mental, and twenty percent actually doing the work. All right, but I discovered this the hard way. <laughs> this I discovered this that hard way. That's this the hard way. Let me fix that real quick here. I discovered this the hard way. All right, and what you get today is you get to cheat in the easy way because I'm gonna teach you how to relax, how to share your message, and I'm gonna share some examples from other people that I've worked with who had many challenges as well. All right, so if you're ready to learn, I'm ready to teach. So that's what I always like to say. So I know um, some of you have said, yeah, you're ready to learn, you're excited to learn. And so let's get into it. So why would you wanna go live anyways? And I'm, when, when I say go live, um, I'm talking about probably going live on Facebook. So that's what I'm sharing with you. I'm sharing some very beginner strategies for those of you who have um, you know, maybe little to no experience with either video or going live. So why would you wanna go live on Facebook specifically? So there are a few reasons. So first of all, when you go live, you have better organic reach. I don't know if you've noticed, but over the years, Facebook's just really cut down on the organic reach of basically all posts, especially photos and text posts, because they want you to spend money on advertisement to reach the masses is really their big secret. But video is so engaging and it keeps people on Facebook. So they want to promote videos. And so live videos especially have great organic reach. Um, it gives you greater feed exposure. Facebook shares your content with other people's networks when they engage with you and your content. So that's also a benefit. And it builds ad audiences or ads, I say ads audiences, it builds ad audiences when the content is shared on a Facebook page. I'm gonna get a little bit more into the, the ad strategies and how you can create live videos and create ads and, and benefit from them that way in, in later on this presentation. I'm also gonna share the exact tools that I'm using right now to go live. I'm using a third party application and I'm gonna share exactly what I'm using and also some other applications. If you're PC or Mac, I'm gonna share just a breadth of information to help you get started in this, uh, in this a live stream here all right now I'm also going to share some shifts because I want you to change your thinking so for those of you who think that speaking on camera is hard that making going live on video is hard I believe and I have other students who will vouch for this that speaking on camera is the easiest type of public speaking and why do I say that well I'm going to share some examples what's going on Nancy how you doing I see you tuning in thanks for tapping in Nancy um, I'm going to share some examples um, from students that I've worked with. And so these first few, um, I don't call them case studies, but these are, I'm gonna teach through my students who've had some great successes and those who've been very challenged with making videos. So this is May Rabano. I think May's actually watching. I had a conversation with May the other day and she was asking me about some content that she could create for her Facebook group. Um, she is the strong bikini mom. And when I first connected with May, her, her biggest video block, she just had a, a a, a very serious and glad to have you Nancy she had a very serious um, challenge speaking on camera and she she had a lot of fear around speaking on camera a lot of physical symptoms she would get physically sick when it came to speaking on camera she would have severe anxiety so even after she would record a video she would like feel sick like for the evening she'd, oh, like, she'd get so worked up that she'd really not feel well and so when I first uh, was contacted or came in contact with May 
Um, I taught her a simple framework to message her videos and to remember her content. And she says, oh, OMG, you remember, don't you, man? <laughs> She's watching right now. And so after just having a, a, this is before she even became a student or enrolled in my, my program. Um, you know, she said she was going live on Facebook. She's like, I just want to, I'm going to go live. I, I just, you know, Imani, could you just help me go live? So I did a little brainstorm session with her. I talked her through some of the intricacies of going live on Facebook. I shared some um, best practices for going live on Facebook. And this is a quote, what she said. She's, these are some of her results. She said, I came up with 45 minutes of content. And she was, I mean, she was seriously, severely challenged with going live and, and just the whole experience. But she said that I got over myself, my fear, and just went for it. I thought I wouldn't have much to say, yet to my surprise, I came up with 45 minutes worth of content. As the past, I be, as time passed, I began to relax and get into my groove. When I started my Q&A, there was a lot of interaction that eventually led to gaining a new client. All right, so that's how you can sell more, serve more to, sh uh, what did I say? I always say you share more, you serve more, sell more. <laughs> I can't say it. You serve more, share more to sell more, right? Because you can build that know, like, and trust. And going live is a great way to do that. And May had results after her first live. And even after that, she went live. She was like, Amani, I still need some help. So she became a, a, a student in my program. And I continue to talk to her and I support her to this day just because, you know, I don't take anyone lightly. If they've invested in themselves and invested in a program and information, I feel like we all have a story to share. And, you know, I'm here to support you throughout your journey if, if you're willing to invest in yourself and if you're serious about making videos. All right, the secret two is to keep it simple. All right, the tech is easy. So for those of you who may think that, you know, it can be challenging, you really need to just keep it simple. So this is Misty Harris. She's the well-mannered mom. She's a parenting and etiquette coach and a uh, she's like a she just teaches kids how to have etiquette she teaches kids how to have etiquette skills she teaches cooking to parents and families etc calls herself the well-mannered mom and her challenge was that she said she she will tell you she had no video skills she had a lot of self-doubt a lot of fear around making videos and what she told me was that if you could fix my fears of being in front of the camera i will sing your praises she said i am all in as a matter of fact and so um you know, what I taught her through my program is uh, she just followed my advice and took action, really, is what she did at the end of the day. And it can come down to that. Just, okay, so Nancy says, this is where I'm presently stuck. Okay, so we can, we can fix that definitely for you, Nancy. So what she did, what 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 a Missy did was she just followed my advice and took action. And making videos is, really, it's all about taking action. The more, more action you take, the easier it will get, especially when it comes to sharing a message on camera. Like I'm not perfect. Like I'm far from perfect. I still say, um, I, I still, you know, make funny faces. Sometimes I'm going live. My son will walk in. I forget what I'm going to say. I have sloppy handwriting. So sometimes I'll write down my talking points. There've been times where I've forgotten them, but you know, each time, each time you're doing a live video or doing anything video related, it's really about getting your reps in. And hopefully the idea is that each rep will get easier and easier for you. So these are some results that Misty says. She says she said that I actually look forward to doing live video, and that's a screenshot from one of her live streams. And she, I mean, after my program, after she went through my program, she would go live like twice a week religiously for for a stretch. And she said that um, she said after going through his video fearless course, I have to say that his methods and guidance made me such a better online presenter than I could have imagined. I actually enjoyed and look forward to doing live video. And then she has some other um, quotes there that you can read there. But, you know, that's all it takes is, is a little bit of guidance and then you taking action. And that can lead to tremendous results. As a matter of fact, this is something that no one really talks about. What I call it is the magic of making video. I say videos like magic. Misty commented this uh, later on after she started going live. She said, I was contacted for a commentator position on a local TV show. They will contact me after all the producers watch my videos. Miracles and miracles. I believe that this will happen. And that happened because of her online presence, of her going live on Facebook pretty much is what led to you know other these producers taking notice. So there are some mindset sh mind mindset shifts that you have to um, understand and you have to really adopt and embrace. First of all, you have to understand that perfection isn't needed. Going live is not about being perfect. You don't have to look perfect. You don't have to sound perfect. 
just be yourself and share some information that your audience wants to learn from you and that's really all you need but you have to stay in the moment so you have to be present during your presentations because there are all sorts of distractions when it comes to going live like people can comment uh there can be room discretion like my, my son like he might come in and say good night during this presentation. he does that all the time I say hey daddy are you going live and they'll come in and talk and say something there are plenty of videos where he you can see him doing that and you have to stay relaxed. Being relaxed is really, really important because we never perform well when we're stressed out or when we're under when we're under pressure, especially when it's self-imposed, right? I mean, I always liken performances to like a musician. If you're in, doing a guitar solo or doing a, if you're a pianist and doing a piano solo, uh, musicians are completely relaxed. They're just in a flow when they're sharing their, their uh, art, right? When they're performing. And if a musician is uptight or they're not, they're tense, I mean, are they going to be able to flow in and play all those notes and, and, and just tear it up? Are they going to be able to grind it out if they're um, uptight or not relaxed? No. So you have to stay relaxed. So remember, perfection isn't needed. You have to stay in the moment and you have to relax. These three things are really key when it comes to going live on any platform. And, and you know, you can go live on YouTube, you can go live on LinkedIn these days, you can go live on Instagram. There are plenty of, I mean, video is so big on all social networks. Like this, this the way people like to consume media is just by watching. Because watching is passive, you don't have to think so much, you can just take it in. If there's an engaging story, it will suck you in. And, and really that's what I want you all to do is to understand that video is the most powerful way to brand, to market, to share your information, to share your content. So that's all I want you to do is just learn how to do it now there are some needed skills all right so I say you have to have some mouthpiece you have to have the ability to ad lib so um, making videos is not about memorizing or speaking live is not about memorizing your information I remember one time when I was in Tampa I think the books were in the playoffs one year and I was going live from like a it was like a really feature story it was nothing complicated or challenging at all but you know, the, I was live at a bar or something, at a sports restaurant or something, sports bar, and I was so uptight about the story. Like, I rewrote, like, I was trying to memorize my lines, right? Because this is still when I was struggling. And, and I must have rewritten my talking points like five times because I wanted to memorize my information. But, you know, going live and, and performing on camera is not about memorizing your information. It's about more being able to speak from your heart, speak from the top of your head. Uh, ad-libbing um, just staying in the moment really um, now when it comes to going live on Facebook what's up Kim how you doing I see you there when it comes to going live on Facebook you have to know how to multitask you have to be able to multitask there are people who are commenting there are people who are coming in and out of the chats um, you know you have to go say hi but then stay focused on your you know what you're you're saying or you're trained a thought and it's easy to get distracted when someone says hi or asks you a question you could completely get thrown off track but you have to be able to focus on your message while you're interacting with your audience and you have to have some basic facebook knowledge and i'm going to share uh th exactly how the facebook interface works if you've really never gone live before if you'd like more information on how to go live i'm going to share facebook's interface and there's actually you can go live and you can just practice going live and no one will see your live so i'm going to sh i'm going to show you how you can do that or how you can set that up as well if you stick with me in this presentation now these are some best practices for going live on facebook um first of all you should uh, have a topic or title a general theme of your live stream you should keep your avatar in mind and when i say avatar i mean your ideal client right so i would assume all of you have niches Hey, Kim, yeah, good to see you. I'm glad you were able to join me too. So, um, you know, you probably have a niche, right? You have a specialty and your audience knows you by that specialty. But, you know, you don't have to share everything in your life. Stick to one topic. So for this particular training, I decided to focus on Facebook Live. But next week, if I do this again, I might focus on something else. All right. Um, have some talking points written down. So I know I said you don't want to memorize your information. But what you do want to have is a... Um, some some folks call it a run a show. I think if Troy is still watching, he knows about run a show. Oh, how to bring someone on your live? Okay, yes, and I can do that and show you how to do that. And I will talk about how to do that if you just stay with me, Kim. Um, and so um, you have a run a show. So a run a show is having a rundown. It's also called a rundown. We have like a, a theme. So you have your intro. And if your first topic, second topic, third topic, it's what you're gonna. It's how your show is gonna flow. 
Because if you approach going live on Facebook like having a show, it will kind of allow you to segment the different talking points and you can compartmentalize them and have a flow to your information. Uh, you also have to have some basic gear. So I would say you want to use a microphone. So right now I'm using a USB microphone. Um, if you're using your webcam, uh, I'm using uh, some lights, I'm using an external webcam. So you have to have some gear. If you're using your, your mobile phone, you can use a, a mic or earbuds, earbuds as a mic. You can use a tripod or you can hold it. Um, but you need some basic um, basic gear if you're going live either on your phone or webcam and the good thing about Facebook is that you can go live with your mobile from your mobile device so you can go live anywhere um, I really say that the power of video is now in everyone's pocket because you know there was a time where you needed like a live truck and all this equipment to go live like for TV right that was the only way you could really go live was via television but now it's like everybody has a smartphone everybody has Facebook everybody has apps you can go live right from your pocket anywhere in the world pretty much wherever you have an internet connection um, think about your background think about your set and then once you're ready to go live you might want to promote your live stream I say promote as much as you can so I think I send an email out um, to my email list I promoted this on my various I promoted this on my Facebook group page I promoted this on my basic on my general Facebook page um, and then you have to moderate you might want to have somebody help you moderate but you want to engage with your viewers and then once you're done recording your content you may want to share and repurpose your live video because you can actually download your video from Facebook and you can upload it to YouTube you can make it little snippets videos and upload them to Instagram there's a wealth of things you can do with the video after you have um, finished going live All right, so let's talk about um, how to go live on Facebook. So I would say um, this is from my this is using my uh, web external webcam and just using the Facebook native interface. And so um, you just tap on live video there, and then you can enter the description, and then you enter the title, and that's pretty much it. And there's the go live button. And this interface may have changed a little bit since I put this together. But if you look there, there's that public, there's that button that says public when you go live. So you can change that to just you or just your friends or whoever you want to see. So you have different controls on who can see your live. So if you're just practicing, just tap on, just change public to, um, and that's sort of by the two, you change the public to just me and then only you will have be able to see the live. So you can just practice that way. So that's a little bonus tip for you. If you're just really getting your confidence, you can share your lives in this group where you know it's a complete safe place. It's not public at all. It's a closed group, so everyone here is learning about video. Um, and so, yeah, either way is fine. So if you just want to share it on your own uh, Facebook page, you don't want anyone to see it. Just make sure you tap on. I think you tap on um, just me only or whatever the the title is, but just allow you to see the video only, and no one else will see it. And then you could also. Uh, go live from your mobile device and so um i use the facebook pages app which you can also use to go live from a facebook page or you can just use your native app but it's kind of the same you just uh you tap go live you enter in some information about what the title is and then you just tap on that little blue button to start live video and it's super easy to go live from your mobile device kim says cool tip awesome it's glad that was helpful all right, so um, how do you hold your device? So you can see there that my phone, I was actually holding it vertically, but with Facebook now, you can hold it either vertically or horizontally. Now, if you're planning to repurpose the video like on Facebook, like on YouTube or for Instagram, I say consider holding your phone horizontally um, because if you're holding your phone vertically and you wanna like upload it to Facebook, YouTube or another network, it's going to have those bars, black bars on the side of it, which are pretty, significant like the image is gonna be very narrow and so I would say if you're gonna repurpose your content you may want to think about holding your device the same way your TV looks on your mantle right <laughs> on your wall hold it horizontally that's generally how you should hold your mobile device anyways when you're shooting video or for creating content with your camera if you're going live, if you're doing an Instagram story you know, snapchat something like that it's okay to hold your phone horizontally but these days really um, I mean vertically but these days really the, the ideal way I think I think everyone should practice shooting horizontal video um, that's that's really what I'm an advocate for and uh, you know that's just that's just my two cents 
All right, so um, hopefully you've got some valuable tips. Now, obviously, I'm not here to, to <laughs> I wish I could go all night, but I can't go all night. I actually have a an event I'm, I'm kind of packed for because I'm, I'm going to be at a conference tomorrow. And so hopefully you've gotten a lot of value. You feel like this has been valuable for your time. Um, if I had even all day or all night, like I couldn't share everything about going live or about video confidence or everything with you. Um, but I put something together so you can get everything you need to know about going live, about being confident. And if you act very fast, I'm going to give you a very special deal. So um, you'll be thrilled to know that my video confidence school is once again open for those of you who are interested in it. So maybe you're wondering what is the video confidence school? It's a six module video confidence course plus awesome bonuses that gives you accountability and instruction while developing your video confidence live and production knowledge. And so it has um, pretty much everything you need to to uh, to learn how to make videos, to go live, to be confident, to create a content. Awesome. That's, that's great, Nancy. I'm glad it's been helpful. Um, and if you're interested in it, you will have a 24-hour lifetime access. Everything is step-by-step. -step. I really include everything that you need to, to learn, to know, to get started. And you may be wondering who this has worked for. So my content, my instruction is for introverts, extroverts, for men and women, for people who suffer from extreme fear or performance anxiety, and for those who've never made a video before. Um, for business owners, coaches, service providers, realtors, I mean, uh, you know, business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, those are the type of people who um, tend to, to enroll in my program. And so this is a, a quote from a, a marketer here in Atlanta. She's not an online marketer. She's a actually like a product marketer. She works in PR as well. Her name is Kathy Barati. She says, Amani, you're a great instructor and mentor in my professional development as a video producer and digital marketer. The lessons you share are always right on time and easy to put into practice. Out of any other course or workshop I've invested in as a postgraduate business professional, your classes have by far achieved my highest return on investment. And so um, if you are interested in the Video Confidence School, uh, put me in the comments and I'll reach out to you. And if you uh, put me in the comments uh, when you're watching this within, a, I guess, say 24 hours of this. So if you're all watching the replay, that's perfectly fine. But if you put me in the comments and you were all in the program, um, as a fast action bonus, I will, in addition to all of the, and, and, and I will go ahead and reach out to you and I'll share all the details about what's in the program, but um, you'll get two 30 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching calls and um, you can email Amani at videofearless.co also, or just put me in the comments and we'll have a quick little conversation to make sure it's right for you because I don't want you to enroll in this if, if you're not interested in it. Okay, so Nancy says me, awesome, Nancy. Um, so I'll reach out to you definitely, and hopefully I'll see you this weekend, Nancy. That's what I hope. Um, and so, you, I said that I would share. Um, so I know Kim asked about bringing some folks on to your live stream. All right. So there's a couple ways you can do it. Um, so you can use a third party application, which makes it pretty easy to do. There are a couple different applications there that I've just listed on the screen. You can see them there. One is Be Live. So Be Live is available for Mac and PC. It will allow you to do that, as well as StreamYard. Um, Zoom is also a way to do it. And Zoom is actually, um, you have, I believe you have to have the webinar function enabled on Zoom to go live on Facebook, or else you can just do like recording. You can just do a, a like a call with somebody and record your conversation with them and then upload the video to Facebook if you want to do it that way. Um, OBS is an open source application that's free. And I'm using, um, application called be live so let me uh so so this is be live so be live gives uh i like be live be live is like my favorite application right now to use um just because you can oh, let's see here let me do this real quick let me sit back because my camera it doesn't automatically focus all right, so um, as you can see, I have a couple different angles set up here. So I can switch between angles. Um, you can add different elements, like I can add, let me see if I can do this for you here. I can add lower thirds, other graphics. This isn't, well, of course, if you're watching this on the replay. Yeah, so if you have Zoom Pro, I believe, because I have that too. Um, you can record 
and yes check out check out be live um be live and actually i can do a tutorial on how to use be live because i have uh be live i think i have a be live pro um version as well so um yeah those are really great applications for going live um and doing like you know two two person interviews like i think you're interested in doing kim those work out really well for you so there's a lot of just features of um ecamm you can switch i'm gonna show you this real quick you can also play video So like if I had a pre-recorded video, I could play it within, like play it as part of my show. It just has a lot of cool, cool options there. Um, what else can, oh, you can green screen with, with um, you can green screen with, with Ecamm. It has a lot of things. And so, um, you know, e, uh, BeLive is good. Um, you're welcome, Kim. BeLive is good. Uh, StreamYard, I, I would also say, Kim, look at StreamYard as well. If you're going to look at BeLive, look at StreamYard. I, I hear a lot of good things about StreamYard as well. So look at those two applications. If you don't have a Mac, if you have a Mac, look at Ecamm. And I can actually share a link to Ecamm. I'll share that in my um I'll share that in the comments after I go, after I'm done doing the live stream. If anyone's interested in Ecamm, because Ecamm is really this is my favorite software. Cause I'm actually using, I said I share exactly my equipment. So I'm actually using a DSLR. I'm using my Canon 7D right now. So this, I mean, it's just a, it's a professional like um camera that shoots uh video as well as stills and it's just the picture is just so much better right so for when i used to do my my lives using ecamm i would just use my webcam which is this is my external logitech webcam and it looks better than my built-in webcam which is this one. Oh, you have a mac yeah then use a i always say use um use ecamm now with ecamm kim if you want to do um two person type of interviews you can there's a skype you do, do there's a skype interface so you just use skype and you bring your skype call into ecamm and then you can do a two person like a skype interview basically in your live stream so that's how e that's how ecamm works so i would say i would say check out ecamm but also be live or, or Streamyard. they also work for mac so those are also options for you um but i like i like uh Yeah, I know. I love it too. So, so yeah. So if you're, um, I'm just looking through my comments here. So yeah. So if anyone has any questions, um, please put them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer all your questions before I wrap things up. Once again, if you're interested in learning about the video confidence school, go ahead and put me in the comments and I'll reach out to you. Um, I'm just going to keep this open probably till Sunday and then I'll close it down. Also, I will say that the price of the program is going to go up because i mean it's just there's just a ton of content there's just a t I, I think I, I put too much content in the program but you know i wanted to it to really be a school where you learn pretty much everything to help you get started to make videos so it covers um how to go live it covers equipment it covers editing it, there's even a some bonuses that deal with speaking from stage. There's just a wealth of information there. I know I'm supposed to set up a call with you. I'm just giving you a sneak peek of it. All right, but um, yeah, if you have any other questions, please put them in the comments. I'm monitoring it on my phone here. Um, and then uh, we'll call it an evening. So let me see here. So um, yeah, that's, that's basically the gist of going live. Now I will say that um, if you're thinking about how you structure your lives, I would say give an intro. So you want to introduce yourself, introduce your topic, and then have you run a show where you would um, write out your talking points. And you can either have them written down on paper or like I just, you know, I'm doing this. I use my slides primarily in this one. So that made it kind of easy. I just share my desktop. But if you're not using a, a like a wet, like a, a application like PowerPoint or Keynote, then you might want to write down your run a show, like your talking points. I believe that be live lets you put them in your the software itself so if you're on be live you can actually put your run a show in the the software there so you can sort of uh, keep track of your information that way anybody has any other questions please let me know and uh, i will we'll call it a night if you're watching this on the replay please put replay i do appreciate you please reach out to me if you do have any questions about going live you know going live is a great way to um Make content, share content, connect with folks, connect with your tribe, right? And, and you know, creating a community is so important when it comes to building a business. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, right? You can share it on your Facebook page, on your business page, on your personal page. You can go live everywhere, Instagram, LinkedIn, 
um, YouTube. It is what it is. So hopefully I shared some valuable tips or techniques. Um, I look forward to seeing you around on the internet. This is a money channel. I'm going to switch cameras now. And I want you to have a great evening. I will talk to you soon. I'm planning to do these trainings uh, weekly. So be on the lookout for my next one. If there's a topic that you'd like me to cover, please put it in the comments as well. And I'll try to um, cover it all right? because this is 2020. This is the year of abundance and prosperity. But it's also the year of video because every year is the year of video to me. It's the year to become video fearless as well. All right. So I'll talk to you soon. Love you. Peace.